So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an air tank, a portable air tank, out of an old propane tank. This right here is a 30-pound LP propane tank that it was empty, so I figured I could use it. So all I did was I just put a coat of paint on this. It's a Rust-Oleum. And then what you do if you want to make an air tank out of these, which they're perfect for air tanks because back in here, I uh, might be on the other side. Um, yeah, down in here, you can see it says 375 on the back of there. That's what pressure this thing blows off at. That's the blow off valve pressure. The tank can hold more than that, which makes them perfect. I'm going to run about 120 pounds in just because it makes me feel better because I still don't trust it. But um, I'm going to show you guys how to make the air tank out of this thing. So let me get to it. All right, so I put it together in the bench just because it was easier. And basically what you want to get first to adapt it from this thread, which is a left-hand thread, by the way just so you know, you want to get this valve, or this, you want to get this fitting here. It's a two-part fitting. It's called a POL fitting. It's for a gas line. You can get them off of a grill if you want to get them cheap, or you can go to Menards or whatever, Home Depot. I All you got to do is just get that. It threads right into there, and then it comes out at a quarter-inch NPT fitting or thread. Then all you gotta do that because that's what air compressors are. Then you get, I just got an adapter. Let me. You get your POL fitting. You get a, I got a T. You can do this however you'd like. I just wanted to put a gauge and a fill and an import from the air compressor to fill it. And this is the outlet. You know, it's the female air compressor fitting. You can make it more simple. You can just put one of these fittings on here and then make an adapter with two of these, but I just went this route because I like it better. So what you want to do is just get your fittings, whatever you're doing, thread them on there. Make sure you put thread tape, otherwise they will leak. And then what I did is I put the T on there coming off the main line to the outlet and then over to another T, which has the pressure gauge, which goes up to 300. And then down here, I have the tank fill valve, which is just, honestly, it's a plumbing fitting, plumbing valve, but you just open it to fill it, and then, and then you close it when you're not filling it, and then, and then this is what you've used. So I'm going to thread it on there and then test it out for you guys. Okay, so I threaded it on. Remember, it is left-hand thread, so just remember that when you're doing this. But now I'm going to get the air hose and fill it up. So I got the air hose on there. So now all you want to do is you're going to open this valve, which lets the air in from the air compressor. Then you open the tank valve. That's filling it. It's only staying 60 right now because it's coming in and it's hitting that directly. But it'll level out. Well, actually, the pressure wants to stay right there, so that's where it's going to be filled to. So now what we're going to do is shut the valve down. This valve's already shut. Pop the air hose off. And then you can see, like that, that drains the pressure down. You open this valve back up. Pressure comes right back up, and you're good to air stuff up. So I don't actually have an air hose for this yet, but I do have this to air up tires with the hose, probably about four feet. So turn the valve back on. Then you go over here at the trigger, air pressure. So that is how you build a portable air tank out of a propane tank. So I hope this helps you. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more stuff. And thanks for watching.